everyone here in this particular video we're gonna be talking about tags now you must be thinking why do we need to learn this particular thing so let me give you an example let's say this is the HTML which you have passed and now if you need to uh, fetch this particular string how are you gonna fetch that so first you need to identify the keyword with which this is associated right so that keyword is referred as tag let me try to help you understand how would you identify a tag so a tag has two basic attributes number one which is angular bracket right so let's consider html is a tag so this will be enclosed within two angular brackets something like this so this is the first characteristic second one it always appears in the pair right so if we talk about html tag then it would come something like this and whatever content you have that will be coming in between these two this is the closing and this is opening so when you open a tag it will be plain text within two angular brackets opening and closing when you close the particular tag then it will be within two angular bracket but prefixed with one forward slash okay let me give you an example so here this is the script now our question was to fetch this particular string so you need to identify the tag with which this is associated so just look at the right hand side of this so this is the tag which you get because it is enclosed in an angular bracket right and so that's why you can say that it's a tag right and if you see this is being this is the closing of this particular tag right so there must be an opening so if you look for its opening it is right over here so this is how you just manage to identify a tag which has this particular string right now if you have to fetch this particular thing can you fetch it basis on it i'm not sure let's figure it out further now after now that we have understood what tag is so each tag has some features i mean there are two important feature of the tag one is name the other one is attribute let's try to understand each of these two one by one with the help of an example let's consider tag as an a home so whatever name you give to your home that will be uh, that will be the name of tag for example here my house my house is the tag name now talking about the attributes so if you look inside a home there are multiple rooms right so each of the room you can consider as the attribute okay for example in a house there would be living room bedroom kitchen and study room so these all rooms can be considered as attribute of my house now what is the use of these attributes so for example let's say if i give you the books right and if i ask you to put it in the house if you go ahead and put it in the house directly right so after some time it will be piled up and it will be difficult for you to figure out one so the best way is to figure out a specific room which can be associated with this particular item so if this is the book then the most relevant room will be study room to put this similarly if you have e-tables the most relevant room will be kitchen right so what we do is in each of the attribute so whatever contents we have we put them in each of the attribute each of the relevant attributes right right so there are different kind of attributes in each of the tags so tag is like a house in that there are different rooms and each of the room can be considered each of the room is like a attribute right we, in which you can put your contents now this is the actual form your actual names of your attributes for example here i'm taking three names one is class h ref and id so consider this is the string this is plain string so the most relevant room or attribute for this particular string will be class right then it comes this particular thing so you can see this is the url so the most relevant room for this one will be h ref now then there comes this this a if you can see this is kind of unique number right or id so obviously this is going to be placed in this because that's the only thing which can be most relevant to this right so this is how we just figured out if you are given a content if you have to write the html then you this is how you can figure out the relevant attributes to put that into uh, put that inside but uh, inside a given attribute but here we are doing the web scrapping though so why do we need this we require this so that we could understand uh, if there is a string which we have to fetch then which attribute we should 
use to fetch that for example let's say this is the string which you have to fetch out of this html right so which is the attribute that you're gonna use so this is the attribute which you will have to use now you can easily find you can simply say this is the text right and this text is residing under this href attribute right and this attribute is under a tag so now you can easily first look for tag a and then inside that you can look for href all right now let me take you to the okay before i take you over there let me give you a glimpse over here okay so now you can see this this is the opening of tag okay and this is closing over here right so within the opening of tag so this is one tag and this is the closing of tag right like in the beginning i said tag always comes in the pair and between these two tag you have this string which is tilly right and inside the opening of tag you have multiple attributes so attributes are placed in opening tag right inside this if you see there are three attributes all these three things right so these three are attributes all right and this is tag this is it we have to understand we had to understand in this particular video now let me take you to the uh, jupyter notebook and try to help you understand how is it going to be helpful right so now here we are like we were understanding so if you see as usual what i have done is i have imported all the necessary libraries and then here i have one html uh, patch i can say so that i have stored in a variable and here i am parsing that and here i have passed it and then i will just print it all right now out of this if you think like we were discussing about this le right if we have to get this particular string right how can we get this or maybe if we have to get this particular thing then how can we get this so i'm going to show you both of these two things so if you want to fetch this particular thing so you can see this is not residing in any attribute this is this is directly residing under the tag so to get this what you can do is first you need to access the tag so the tag which we have over here is a because in this tag only we have le written right so let's say soup is the html parsed item right and in that we need to look for tag a so if you print that so this is what we got now out of this you want to fetch this what is this this is just text right so you can say text here we got that text now let's take another example for example we want to fetch sister whatever is written over here or maybe we want to fetch uh, fetch this particular thing link one we want to say li link one we want to get this or the useful most useful thing is this this is something which we want to fetch okay how can we do that so for that what we need to do is we're gonna say soup dot first we need to fetch the tag so we fetch the tag and after that inside this tag whatever the attribute you want to access you can just write that attribute in this square bracket so let's say i want to face the id so here we got the id now if you want to get the link so you can do this if you want to get the class whatever values are stored in a class uh, attribute you can just write over here and that you got over here okay to make it very clear i will keep this printed over here and i'll show the example at below over here right so you see we have uh as we pre as we access this particular attribute we have the value stored inside that we just got the value right now this is how uh, tag and attributes are very helpful for us to while we are doing the web scrapping the main reason is the main point is whatever string you want to fetch just try to identify under which tag is that residing right so for example if you see this particular this particular thing this is residing under the tag p which is paragraph now there is a whole list of there is a whole list of you know uh, tags which you can learn that unfortunately we cannot cover over here but i'll give a link which is for w3school.com you can access that and that's really useful you can learn from there right but that's not really important over here now here you saw that uh, uh, 
in in class let's say if we want to access the links right so we can say this right we got the one so this is giving you the first one uh, whichever is coming over here now what if you want to fetch all so for that we're gonna use the function right so we can say find all this is something which I covered in the previous video as well right in that what you can do is you can just find this okay and if you see this here is that you got now let's try what happens if we do this are we going to yes this is going to give you the error now what we need to do is we need to take each of the link out of this so for link in this what we need to do is we can say link dot please avoid this noise noise next what we can do is we can say get and over here you can just say href right and if you do this ooh, it gives you nothing so what you can do is you can try return right and if you do this this is also not giving you what you need right so the best way is to print that right and here you got all those three links Woo, we got that okay now you can store this in a list or maybe you can store this in a data frame so the main point is to access any string or any item which you really require to fetch first you need to identify the tag and their attributes and then you are done you can just simply fetch that thank you very much for watching the video wish you very all the